All right, there we go. Let me get set up here. I got a gun in my lap. I am gonna one take Jake this. Hey guys, as always, thanks for stopping by. I haven't had dinner yet. It's already late on the East Coast. I am rolling through this thing. Got several things I wanna walk through, including one current event thing that happened recently that's kind of been uncovered that I'm not really happy about. And then I've got a question for all of y'all. I know YouTubers always say that I've got a question of the day for you. I really do. The purpose of this video is to walk through several things, but then I also want to kind of press pause and have a conversation with you. Hey, today's video is brought to you by you patriots. Every thumbs up, every like, every subscribe, all of that is a really big deal. I want to say a big thank you to all of y'all. And as of this video, since the last video, got 5,000, almost 6,000 new subscribers, and I really appreciate all that. It helps get this message out to more people, a message of freedom, a message that we're not backing down, a message of constitutionality. I'm Judy chopping my hand there. Constitutionality. Love the Constitution. I think we all should, and I love America. We're going to get through these trying times. We're going to do it together, and we're going to stay informed and watchful of what's going on out there. Now, it was pretty crazy over the last four or five days. I did two videos back to back that kind of struck a nerve. Not kind of, they did, they struck a nerve. If you didn't see them, it's the last two videos. And in the last one, I, I was a little nervous about it because I told you all, if you don't like it, take a hike. And I've never done that before. That's bad YouTube form. That is not a way to grow a channel, grow a business, or to have a voice in this freedom community. And I planted a flag and I drew a line in the sand and said, if you don't like it, take a hike. And then the emails and all of it just started rolling in absolutely crazy several days. About a quarter million clicks, which was pretty cool to see, not just from, oh, I got a bunch of clicks, but it's really about, again, getting a message out a little firmer into this freedom community and having a conversation that I hope and I really do believe matters. About 9,000 comments have come in in the last four days. That's a lot. Quarter million clicks. It's been crazy. My question is why? I want to talk about that just a little bit. Now, here's a little bit of an update. I'm going to do some more current events over the weekend, but here's a couple things that are kind of on my radar, one of which I really want to get onto your radar. But it's been crazy out there. I know that's the kind of like the sky is blue comment of the day, but it really is crazy out there. Y'all know this, and y'all have mentioned this several times, that Canada, that black-faced moron in Canada, did a complete authoritarian move in the large gun ban there. Absolutely unprecedented. That's another country, but we still need to watch. It's a very close neighbor. Also, Prince Harry, I know he's no longer a prince. He's now abdicated his, his throne or abdicated his princedom, whatever it is. He has now sold his hunting shotguns, a massive collection of hunting shotguns. The princes and the kings of England have been shooting firearms since firearms were made. It's part of their tradition, who they are, and part of their culture. And now that moron, to please his moron wife, has now sold his shotgun. I know he's no longer a prince, and that's another country, but it's still on my radar. Now, what have we watched in the last six, seven, eight weeks? When all of this happened, who did our government go after? They went after churches, they went after businesses, they went after the freedom to assemble, and they went after firearms. Why? All of those are constitutionally protected foundations of what we believe and how we live, part of our culture, and they went after them, chipping away. One example was Jackson, Mississippi, like complete gun ban. But a lot of places did various levels, and it has been bad. They are going after the Bill of Rights. It's what they want. Any leftist that says they're not coming after guns, they are a liar, they are specific, and they know that they are. Also, as a side note, notice who the, the few that are willing to say we're coming after your guns, every one of those folks have 24 hour a day armed guards, armed security. They want you disarmed, not themselves. Dallas, oh, that was a good one, and uh, it was a terrible one, but things turned around. That poor lady trying to go to work to make money to feed her kids, and the government, a judge, looked at her and said, you need to apologize. Woo, she stood her ground. She said, I apologize to no one. We don't have to apologize to the government, of the people, by the people, 
for the people. They work for us. I know whenever I say that, y'all get upset. I'm not backing down on that one either. They work for us. Now, it turned around, and that woman, she had armed security go to work with her, and she's now out of jail. And so the Dallas Salon owner, y'all been watching that. This is the one I really want to get under your radar. This matters. I know there's been this, this like, oh, tidal wave of counties as well as states turning loose their prisoners to keep them safe, yet they're going down to skateboard parks and putting skaters in jail. So they're releasing criminals, but putting skaters in. It makes no sense. State of Illinois. Now, often when I mention Illinois, somebody will type in the comment section, well, there are a bunch of morons up there in Chicago. Illinois is a bigger place than just Chicago. But the state of Illinois has now released a total of over 4,000 prisoners. Now, anytime we talk about prisoners, I always stop and go, well, were they victimless crimes? That's a different story. I think if there's a victimless crime, we can have a conversation. Not in all of these cases. Illinois has now released... 146 sex offenders. And that's not okay. Convicted sex offenders. The, and I know that sometimes you say, well, did they pay their debt to society? In that instance, with this situation, the recidivism rate is off the chart. They are not able to be rehabilitated. This has been decades long of studies. These people are dangerous, primarily men, absolutely dangerous. I'm not okay with that. You may say, well, Johnny, that's a bold statement. Well, I'm not. Like, I'm not. As a dad, I don't have to be saved as a dad or as a human. I'm, just stop. I am not okay with that as an American. Also, they released 64 convicted murderers. I know probably all of those are different situations. Second degree, third degree, first degree. It's all very different, but also, also concerning. So there's a lot going on, all of these different situations. There's more we're going to talk about this weekend. My question for y'all is what happened over the last few days? I drew a line in the sand and said, take a hike if you don't like it. Thousands and thousands of comments, support, emails, DMs coming in on Instagram. People went a little bit wild. You all were supportive. My question is why? Well, I know why, because you support freedom and support the Constitution. But why it, are we in 2020 why is it so surprising for somebody to stand up and say, I'm done? I think we all should be in a place where we stop and we say, I will not stand anymore. Not gonna, not gonna, well, I'm going to stand. I'm not standing for your nonsense anymore. This crap that the government is putting at us. The left's doing it and the right's doing it. They are in this thing together and somebody needs to stand up and say enough is enough. Now, I'm not talking about putting on Hawaiian shirts and going out into the streets. Not yet. Not talking about that. Not remotely. But in the last several months, I've done more than I've ever done before reaching out to y'all. I've done more than I've ever done talking to my local representatives, staying involved, emailing, talking to these folks, talking to people locally. I was telling somebody just the other day who is a little bit anti-gun or certainly not pro-gun. And I said, well, yeah, you are. You're absolutely pro-gun. What if somebody, God forbid, breaks into your house in the night? What would you do? And this person said, well, what would you do? Well, I would strap up pretty quickly, and it would be a, a, a little bit of a light show in the living room. And this person said, oh, well, I don't really have that kind of stuff in my house, don't really believe in it. I said, so there you go. What would you do? And they said, well, I'd call the police. Ah, so you got two options, both of which is a good guy with a gun. Either you take care of it yourself or you call somebody else to come across town and take care of it for you. It was a great conversation. Didn't It wasn't awful. It wasn't argumentative. My point is this. In this day and age, when all of that stuff is going on with the government, why? Why are people so stirred up? Would love to hear your opinion. Would love to hear what you have to say. Did it strike a nerve? And maybe overall, my overall question for you is this. More simply, where are you at right now on a Friday night? Where are you at with this entire thing that's going on? <coughs> all of this. Would love to hear your opinion. And to all of those out there that are against us, from my cold, dead hands. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.